But for case two, we're going to present a case of uncontrolled polycythemia vera. Uh, so in this case, we have a 67-year-old, February 2018, who presents with frequent headache and dizziness. His hemoglobin levels uh, very high at 20.5 grams, and white blood cell count and platelets are kind of high normal, just a little bit elevated at 9.9 .9 and 380. Other results show a hematocrit of 63% and some microcytosis suggestive possible iron deficiency. Uh, the patient has a jak 2 v 617 f mutation and allele burden of 65%. Bone marrow biopsy is performed, which shows uh, trilineage proliferation and pleomorphic megakaryocytes, and uh, prior medical history is notable for uh, smoking. Uh, based on a, a diagnosis of polycythemia vera, the patient has started uh, initially on phlebotomy and aspirin. Uh, now, a few months later, the patient's undergone, undergone uh, three phlebotomies, uh, essentially monthly, and uh, contain, complains of continued dizziness, headaches, and nausea. Uh, this time, he's continued on phlebotomy as needed, and aspirin, uh, but now he's, uh, uh, hydroxyurea is added at a dose of 1,000 milligrams per day. A few months later, he's had a couple more phlebotomies, and the dosage of hydroxyurea once again has increased now to 1,500 milligrams per day. Now it's November, patient's still dependent upon phlebotomies and he also complains of itching. Uh, and now the dose of hydroxyurea has increased up to two grams per day. And in February, so now one year post-diagnosis, uh, he's had a couple more phlebotomies since November. He's averaging about a phlebotomy per month. Uh, and he's also experiencing abdominal fullness and some taste changes. Um, his spleen is now palpable at six centimeters below the costal margin. And so overall, as a summary, this is a, a patient with uh, polycythemia vera who was diagnosed uh, and over the course of a year um, developed, uh, you know, required phlebotomies on average once a month, uh, despite increasing dosage of hydroxyurea. He also has some symptoms of, of moderate splenomegaly and uh, itching, as well as headaches and um, uh, some taste changes 